up guys today i'm gonna be building like the biggest thing i ever built in my life and i'll be showing you everything i need and take a guess what i'm gonna be building in the comments down below and i'll look at them after the video and also at the end i will be showing you what i'm actually gonna build and yeah let's get started this is the CPU. Hey, that's pretty this good. is what processes everything that you do on your computer in your daily life. Uh, so let's move on to the next component. This is the CPU cooler. It cools down your CPU. And like, are you guys getting the clue what I'm building? Let's move on to the next component. Maybe you'll get it better. This is the motherboard. This is where all the components go into place. What goes inside the case. So let's go to the next component. This is your power supply. It, connect, it powers all the components, especially the motherboard and CPU. Let's move on to the next component. These two are the RAM and the thermal paste. This connects your CPU and cooler. And this is your RAM that caches is memory. Let's move on to the next component. These are the tools you'll be needing. This is a screwdriver, a torque wrench. You don't really need this. You just need probably a normal screwdriver. I just wanted this to make sure like it's easier for me and this is a flashlight like a headlamp you put it like over your head like this and it like I don't need to hold a flashlight so then it's dark in the case and like it's easier for me too this is a screwdriver with a magnetic tip this doesn't have one this does so yeah let's go to the next component this is our graphics card this is what does all the video work on your screen now let's move on to our last and final component this is our pc case and yes i'm gonna be building my very first gaming pc so let's get started building Okay guys, let's get started building. So this is our motherboard. Uh, this is where everything goes as I explained. Let's get started, let's open this up. This is our Wi-Fi antenna. Cables. I do not know what this is for if I had SSD. This is to our cover for the case. RAM slot, paper, chipset RAM. Quick installation. Installation guide. Two screws, I think. I don't know what it is for. Okay. So this is our motherboard. Let's open our CPU and get it in our motherboard. doesn't come with the cooler, the default cooler. This is in the CPU. So this is the Ryzen 7 5800X. This is a pretty mid-range CPU. That's why I got rid of that. These are pins, I'm not going to touch that. Let's put it in. So... Okay, our CPU is in place. Let's get our RAM in place now. Let's open this up. I have opened the RAM to check it out before. That's why it's already all open. This is our RAM. It's our RAM. So I'm gonna put it on A2. And B2. This gen this is it. 
just like that. Get into place. Then push it in. Okay, that's the click of meanness. <laughs> Okay, so this is here. Leave a gap and put it on B2. Okay. Second one went a lot quicker. Okay, so now I am going to be installing our graphics card. package there okay, now we're gonna be in some more graphics for it. Let's open it up. box by Gigabyte. Instructions. I don't know what this is. Put that aside. This is our actual graphics card. One for fans, metal back plate. Let's move the outer cover. So now this goes right over here. Let's open that up. Like our RAM, we have to open a little bit up here. We have to do it this way. Need to put this a little bit on the side. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay. Yes, it's in place. Okay. No stickers. Okay, good. So. Our CPU, RAM, and graphics card is installed. I should probably install our CPU cooler as well. So let's get to that. Okay, okay so we're going to add a cover base now. Okay, we're going to go We don't need to spread it. No. Okay. Perfect. Now uh, let's screw this in. Okay, so this is my SSD. I kind of forgot to order it before. So now I got it. It's a Kingston NVMe SSD, one terabyte. So it goes into this M.2 slot on my motherboard, right here. Let's put it in here. And in a little bag like this, it comes with that tiny little screw. I have to screw this in. SSD in its place. 
Now let's put it into the case. Okay, so now it's time to put our motherboard inside of our case. So this is an NX NZXT H510 Lite. Um, yeah. I chose this case because it, it looked really clean and looked really easy to assemble. Guys, this is day two, and let's see if it actually works. Okay, switch is on. And then I have to close these panels over here. So, everything is like this, so everything is placed. I push the button, everything is spinning. Oh my god, I only put one stick of RAM because I tried to boot it up with this but the RGB didn't light up and it didn't boot. After I get into Windows, I'll put the other one and restart it. So let's see it boot. Okay, so I, it boots up. I just have to put some a USB. I mean, I have to put Windows on a USB and I can install Windows on my SSD. So yeah, I'll see you when Windows is installed. Peace. Thank you.